Ice storms are not unusual in Canada, coating the landscape with a beautiful shroud of ice. But in January 1998, Canada was hit by a storm that was anything but usual. Ice storms can be lethal, but usually the misery only lasts a few hours. But the ice storm of 98 was different. It arrived in waves. For two days, the freezing rain just kept coming. And this ice just kept building up and getting thicker and thicker and thicker. And the wires kept getting bigger and bigger. And the, all of the trees around, of course, were building up with ice. Look at the thickness of this ice compared to my hand. It's quite amazing. This condition kept up for hour after hour after hour, and then gradually, that's when we started to hear the trees coming down, and then the, the lines started coming down. Trees were falling on the lines, and the lines were falling down on their own because of the weight of the ice that was building up on there. Then we lost power for more than half of the province. The lines of cables and huge transmission towers, they were crumpled to the ground like paper clips. When you saw electrical pylon, suddenly uh, buckle in front of your, of, of your eyes, you knew right away this was going to be major, major problems. If you can imagine, as you're looking down this whole pile of, of, of poles, and you see them coming down one after another, and you see the fireballs as the electricity is, is, is being cut off as well. It looked like a, a, a war zone, really. It was so devastated. Without electricity, Millions had no heating, fresh water, or sanitation. The situation was fast getting out of control. Emergency services couldn't cope, and the government was at a loss about what to do next. In the end, 50,000 people were forced to leave their homes and take refuge in temporary shelters. 35 people died, and many more were left in a critical condition. After the storm, 3,000 kilometers of power lines were destroyed at a cost of over $800 million. 200 years ago, it wouldn't have been a storm. 200 years ago, uh, the ice would have come and the ice would have gone and the people would have still had wood, wood in their stove fires and making their muffins on the stove and it wouldn't bother them. But everything today is depending on electricity and so it was uh, very devastating. In our endless battle against cold, the weather won, and our technology was useless. <laughs>